uh, hi actually my name is ravi and i have completed my btech in computer science and i also done a certification course in sap mm and you know i am from hyderabad so after completing my btech i am just interested in sap mm so i want to uh, get this job yeah that's great what made you choose sap mm as your career path i have also been interested in the field of material management i think sap mm is a very useful and powerful module that can help organizations streamline the process and reduce cost i also like the fact that sap mm is integrated with other modules like fi sd pp etc and also offers view of the businesses i see can you explain what sap mm is and what are its essential sap mm actually uh, uh, SAP MMM stands for SAP Material Management. It is a functional module in SAP that deals with handling and material management. The essential components in SAP MMM are uh, like uh, determined requirements. Actually, determined requirement involves planning and forecasting the demand and supply of the materials. And uh, another one is source determination. Source, source determination involves finding the better source of the supply for the materials, such as vendors, contracts, etc. and uh, vendor selection vendor selection involves choosing the most suitable vendor based on various criteria like price quality and delivery time and another one is uh, order processing order processing involves creating and managing the purchase orders scheduling agreements contracts and next one is order flow up order flow up follows the tracking and monitoring the status of the orders confirming the delivery dates updating the good good receipts and next one is good receipts and inventory management this actually involves receiving and verifying the goods updating the stock issuing the goods transferring the goods etc and the final one is invoice verification this actually involves checking and clearing the invoices from the vendors posting the payment resolving any discrepancy etc very good you have a clear understanding of the sap mm process Can you tell me what are the types of special stock available in SAP? Yeah, sure. I, I can tell that uh, the types of special stock uh, are available in the SAP MMR uh, subcontracting. Uh, the subcontracting is what is about it. Uh, when a company outsources some of the production activities to a vendor, it actually pro- provides the required components to the vendor. And the second one is consignment. Uh, it is actually when a company obtains goods from a vendor without paying for them until they are consumed or sold and third one is project the project is when a com- is actually about when a company assigns a special stock to a specific project or a order and the tracks is a consumption separately and the next one is pipeline this pipeline is uh, when a company uh, procures goods from a vendor on a regular ba- basis and pays for them only when they are withdrawn from the pipeline and next one is sales order uh, this sales order means uh, when, when a company has a special stock for a specific sales order and deliveries to the customer and next one is stock transfer uh, this is when a company transfers goods from one planet to another within the same source code or across different company codes and the next one is returnable packaging with computer this is the last one actually Uh, this is actually about uh, when a company lends to packaging materials to a customer, and it expects them to return them after the use. Okay, okay, excellent. You have covered all the types of special stock. Can you list out some important fields in the purchasing view of the material master? Yeah, yes, I can. Uh, uh, some important fields are in the purchasing view of the materi- uh, material master are. Uh, Uh, one of them are like uh, base unit of measure actual base unit of measure is a unit of measure in which the material is uh, procured and managed and the second one is order unit uh, this order unit is is the unit of measure in which the material is ordered from the vendor and the third one uh, uh, the another one is purchasing group actually purchasing group is a group of the buyers who are responsible for procuring the material and the another one is material group uh, actually material group is a group of materials that have similar characteristics and are assigned to the same purchasing organization and another one is valid from 
it has it actually tells that uh, this is a date from the purchasing date is valid which is the purchasing date is valid and other one is text tax indicator for material uh, this tax indicator for material it actually it is indicated that determines that the tax rate applicable to the material another one is ma manufacturer part number actually the manufacturer part number is a number assigned by manufacturer to identify to identify the material it actually tells that uh, we can we can identify the material based on this the manufacturer uh, part number another one is uh, the overall uh, the final one is manufacturer actually this manufacturer is the name and address of the ma manufacturer of the material it, it actually tells the material manufacturing name and address and overall very well done you have mentioned all the important fields i have one last question for you how can you link a document to a vendor master record uh yeah uh, we can actually uh, link a document to vendor master record uh, in, in sap uh, in sap i can use the xk01 transaction code for it we can okay. use the xk01 transaction code uh, actually by using this menu, this path will be we carry out in to check the to link the document to master record uh, what is first we need to go for sap menu in menu we need to select the logistics in logistics we need to choose the material management and after in material management we need to choose purchasing after that we need to go for master data and then we need to go for vendor and then we need to go to central and here we need to give the xk01 transaction code and we need to create it uh in this way you know in the vendor master record i can enter the document number so that it is very easy and i need to mention which document type in the particular field uh, under under the what are general data and document se section we need to provide uh, document type this document number all this field should be given in there thank you